The fate of Russian mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigazin is still unknown after the plane he was reportedly on crashed near Moscow earlier today. It hasn't been confirmed whether Prigazin is dead or if he was even on the plane, but many officials, including President Joe Biden, have said his presumed death would not come as a surprise. I don't know for a fact what happened, but I'm not surprised, Biden told reporters in response to the news shortly after being briefed. When asked if he thought Russian President Vladimir Putin was behind it, the president responded, there's not much that happens in Russia that Putin's not behind. But I don't know enough to know the answer. I've been working out for the last hour and a half. Prigazin is thought to be among 10 people who were killed in the crash. The plane carrying three pilots and seven passengers was en route from Moscow to St. Petersburg, according to officials cited by Russia's state news agency TASS. Prigazin was on the passenger list for the plane, but it wasn't immediately clear if he was on board. Some have speculated that the crash may have been just a plausible excuse for Putin to eliminate a rival. Although Prigazin and Putin were formally close, after the Wagner chief led an uprising against the Kremlin in June. Many have speculated about his fate. We have seen the reports, National Security Council spokeswoman Adrian Watson wrote in a tweet in response to the news. If confirmed, no one should be surprised. Former U.S. Special Advisor Mark Voyager told Sky News, we should not forget that the disappearance or the removal of some of Putin's enemies over the years have been linked to suspect aircraft crashes. It would not be a surprise if Putin has yet again chosen a method that provides some plausible deniability. Dr. Alan Mendoza, executive director of the Henry Jackson Society, said, Prigazin caused the biggest shock of Putin's rule. Putin needs to reassert his authority. Those traveling with Prigazin will be his associates and not neutrals, taking them out actually helps Putin as it reduces his enemy's count. In short, this was too good an opportunity for Putin not to take. Kaya Kolas, Prime Minister of Estonia, told CNN, if true, it shows Russian President Vladimir Putin will eliminate opponents and that scares anyone who is thinking of expressing opinion different than his. British lawmaker Alicia Kearns, chair of Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee, said on social media platform X, the speed at which the Russian government has confirmed Yevgeny Prigazin was on a plane that crashed on a flight from Moscow to St. Petersburg should tell us everything we need to know. Reports Russian air defense shot down the plane suggests Putin is sending a very loud message. Prigazin's fate has been the subject of intense speculation ever since he mounted a short-lived mutiny against Russia's military leadership in late June. The Kremlin said the founder of the Wagner private military company, which fought alongside Russia's regular army in Ukraine, would be exiled to Belarus. But the mercenary chief has since reportedly popped up in Russia, leading to further questions about his future. As the news about the crash was breaking, Putin spoke at an event commemorating the Battle of Kursk, hailing the heroes of Russia's the special military operation in Ukraine. 